Hello, Virgo. It's I'm Oh My God Tarot, and this is your October Tarot card reading. Let's have a look at what energies are dominant this month. And then we're just going to head on into the spread. Why not? Right? Oh, no. This guy knock over my... Cleanse the energy. Sorry, I forgot to do that after the last reading. Let's cleanse that energy for you, Virgo, and let's see what's going on this month. Okay. Cancer, cancer, cancer. All right, Virgo, so you have some of this maternal energy. You might be talking to your mom more, tending to your mom more, or thinking about your kids. This energy is emotional, sensitive, caring, and loving. It may concern family, a mother, or a child. So you're being very nurturing, or maybe some of that nurture energy is being summoned towards you, or you're acting on it. So just know that there's some caring for people, caring for or being cared for energy in the in this month. So be sensitive, be nice. Then we have Sagittarius, and this energy imbues power, superior confidence, and enthusiasm with faith, good fortune, and authority. Dude, some of you Virgos don't know the power that you have. You guys know that you're healers, right? You know that you guys say things casually that just heal people? I hope you do. I hope you use that not to uh, mock people. When you mock people, it's so much more painful because people trust and believe in you and people believe your integrity. And, you know, look, even though I, I don't think that, that Virgos necessarily are always leaders, but they do give leadership energy, even if they're not. And so when, they, when you guys get involved with the petty, it's like, you're human, it's fine. But... A lot of people are let down because they're like, but you're so much bigger and better than that. You know? So it's like you guys are held to some weird... Like, you guys have a situation, right? With the Sagittarius energy, you guys are looking for broader knowledge. Some of you guys are taking a course this month. Sometimes some of you guys are just trying to learn, y'all. You're just trying to learn more. Some of you even want to travel. You want to have more experiences. want to adventure this month. Um, and then finally, we have Mercury. This is your planetary ruler. This is how you think, communicate, write, and talk, and travel. Um, okay, so Good. That's good because, you know, you guys, I mean, sometimes you can be a little quiet. You can be a little quiet, but at the same time, I think that when you use that wit, that charm, when you use your words and your ability to sway people, negotiate, your trick people, okay, <laughs> marketing skills, you know, you guys are thriving. You guys are thriving when you guys activate that non-Mercury retrograde energy, that Mercury direct. Listen. Communicating, talk, travel. A lot of instances of travel here. So some of you guys are traveling, maybe even traveling to the mother. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. A lot of interesting. Eight of Wands. You guys have a lot of travel. You guys are traveling this month. There's travel. All sorts of travel. Even if it's a lot of local traveling or a little bit of international, regional traveling. Travel, travel, travel. That's, that's wild. That's wild. So Eight of Wands starts off as like just making a special effort. You know, I guess because you care. There's nurture there. Um, and let's keep going. Virgo. Virgiana. There's something you may not know that you are learning. This also is the High Priestess. So we are associated with the moon. Again, giving us that Cancer Feminine energy. So lots of, lots of uh, duplicate, lots of repetition. Ooh, the Tower. Okay, so we're seeing a little bit of a reason now for the travel. Because, you know, there might be some things shifting in your life. There might be some events that are that are causing you or somebody else to uproot. Maybe you're, you're going to be of assistance, of aid for that. You guys are naturally very helpful, so that, that could be the case. Helping somebody with a sudden event, a sudden shakeup in their life. This is also associated with tower. So, you know, conflict, aggression, uh, impulsive. So just randomly something big could just a bump just be dropped on on someone's situation or your situation okay so and then you might have to be of assistance or this could be happening to you and then you'll have to be tri going back and forth going back and forth going back and forth kind of thing um the high priestess is giving us like there's some information that you don't know that will unfold that you find out that has been known that has been but you just like finding out and it's a shock and it's a surprise and there's that travel there so i'm wondering what the heck that's about but anyways let's keep going because you guys have a juicy reading you got the Eight of Cups. Ho oh, ho! That's solo travel. That is being introspective. That is doing your own thing. Dude, are some of you... Hey, yo, are you guys living a double life? 
are you living a double life? Because see, it's not only are you guys traveling a lot more, I feel like you guys are doing your own solo type thing, and that's really introspective. That means, okay, I always worry for Virgos. It's like, you guys do this inner world, inner thing, but you guys are very critical of yourselves, and then you guys don't really want to show people weakness, so you guys could self-destruct. Don't want you to do that, guys. Don't want you to do that. If you're doing this solo thing, just make sure you check in with people, make sure you're all right. Eight of Cups, inner world stuff. And, I mean, it does align with that cancer and high priestess energy um soul searching i guess some of you guys this month are going to be questioning like things that you can't control like your own luck in life you just have bad luck do i just have bad fortune do i just not have any potential do i am i just not the person i thought i was did i not do i not like you're questioning yourself to some degree but i also feel like it's good for you that that self-reflection before um knee-jerk reactions weird bashing about like I saw movement on my balcony but I don't I don't okay sorry guys oh my god <laughs> the hangman that's not bad but it's just like hey that's not good so the hangman is representing uh, oh first of all it's associated with Neptune and yeah, we all know Neptune is queen of Delulu just like having fantasies and mind altering, just like the full moon kind of energy. But the hangman is about just somebody hanging there and holding still because, you know, they haven't changed their perspective and their perspective is upside down and they'll just hang there until they figure out how to change that perspective and be upright. And it's like being caught in a loop or caught in a cycle, you know, and, and holding still because of it. And being so valid in, in that that perspective that it's real for a long time but realizing that it's holding you in one spot is a thing so i think that once you realize that you hey why don't you do a backflip why don't you backflip yourself out of there and you'll be free or how about acknowledging that you're seeing things upside down you know i just there's something about the hanging Maybe there's just some realization of like, this was a long time coming. And I just let it happen. So whatever this upheaval is, whatever this tower moment is that has you traveling back and forth and really reflecting on what your next plan is and what you have to do. I just, I think that there's also some things that are out of your control that you just didn't know. And you have to accept, not the, I should have known this, you know, especially if things were unfolding abruptly. Um, I think the way that you communicate, the way that you maneuver your way out of, of, of uh, random situations that just don't go well, I think that you should really focus on how resilient you actually are, how resourceful you actually are. Maybe after the fact, though. Maybe during the self-reflection part. I think, though, again, the holding still thing, and maybe you do self-reflection, you hold still before you make your next move. Maybe that's the advice that you guys need. Don't impulsively try to go th from one extreme to another. Just kind of do have some time make some time to complete the self self reflection i don't know how long that would take for some of you but you should know because this is an inner world type thing it's like when i feel ready to change my perspective or when i feel ready to like actually make a move i know i need to do better and i know right now i'm not doing better but like i'm ready to do better and then you'd break yourself free of this hangman energy but just know that where you're at right now is just kind of like your own not doing but almost like you're trying to let this time pass where there's tower moments you're like oh, i don't want to if if you know if i have the luck of somebody who has their the big bad wolf blowing their house down maybe i'll chill on building houses for a bit maybe i'll build a condo maybe i won't build a house maybe i'll just live in other people's houses and then save money to build a house made of steel you know i think before your next move after this uproarish situation especially if somebody comes to you and presents a very emergency type situation i feel like wait think about this think about it for a while before you do anything before any sudden movements happen hang man hold still hold still for a bit until you know everything because there are things you don't know and right now where you hang there when you hold still just keep doing the same thing like don't introduce what you don't have to into your life if, as it relates to the tower situation. Wholesale, think about this. 
do self-reflection because that's the, and this self-reflection is like don't even really like take advice from other people oh you know what i would do you know what i would do so like, let yourself realize what you would do because again you you guys are the most critical thinkers you're perfectionist you know what you're gonna do and then just don't open yourself up to other people's criticism of how you handle events because then you have to disclose all this information there's stuff they don't know the high priestess is telling me there's something you do not know r relating to the situation with the tower relating to the situation with what could be a mother figure or you know, a Cancer Sagittarius. It could be a Gemini or a Virgo that you're dealing with, but again, and also this right here could give you Aries energy or Scorpio energy. So, and Pisces. So, yeah. But I, but I do think that I do think that you're running into situations where you're going to have to go back and forth. You're going to have to travel. Because there's something that you didn't know that just blew up and all of the traveling and all the having to go back and forth will have you thinking about things and really will set you on a path where you change your perspective. That you've been holding on to something for too long, that you've been doing the same thing for too long, or you've been doing the same thing and it's been working, but now you're just like, okay, well, not anymore. Your perspective changes on something that you've been doing for a while. So I would love to know what that's about because um, it's so juicy. But it could also be traumatic, so like, let me chill. Um, but yeah, Virgo, hey, this month, listen, this month, it's all you, all you. And so make, make good decisions. Make some good decisions, and you know I will see you on the flip side of this when you do your backflip out of this hangman position. Okay, Virgo, so there it is. That's your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and if you like some delicious soy candles tarot soy candles by the way natural wax um heavily scented and i also sell fragrance oils you can check out my etsy shop it's in the description have a look sees like things go at it and i will see you in the next video